Hey there guys, what is going on? We are back with another camo guide on the channel. And again, in season three, we're gonna be taking a look at how to get easy long shots, easy fast long shots in Cold War season three. This is a challenge that is not particularly difficult in this game, but can still be a little bit of a hassle. But for the most part, these tips that we're about to present to you here will be able to get you very, very easy long shots in the game right now, getting you on your gold camo grinds if you're still working on that like me, as well as moving on to diamond. And then of course the dark matter stuff. Just before we do get into it here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I really do appreciate it. It really does help me out. Of course, we are looking for 5,000 subscribers very soon and 10,000 by the end of the year. So if you could help me achieve that goal, that would be absolutely massive. So let's start off with some basic numbers here. So if we go into the combat record and take a look at some of the weapon statistics here, you can see all the long shot distances. This is one of the most useful things that they have added to the game. And if you haven't actually had a look through the combat record, this is actually really, really cool this year. This is a great addition that they have added. Take a look at some of the long shot ranges that we do have here. The SMGs is 36 plus meters, which is fairly accessible on most maps. The assault rifle distance is of course 41 meters, which is slightly longer, but again, still fairly accessible for the most part. Tactical rifles are again going to be 41 meters, very similar to assault rifles. They share those similar sort of range and value properties so 41 meters makes sense for these shotguns are of course 14 meters which is a little bit shorter but can be sometimes difficult to get depending on your actual shotgun snipers are a massive 51 meters but with some of the tips that we're about to present today as well as some of the spots 51 meters should be no problem pistols are 25 meters which again should be no problem depending on how you do play and if you use some of the tips 25 meters should be really really achievable here LMGs are similar to assault rifles and tactical rifles having a long shot distance of 41 meters again really really easy to pull these off It's also worth noting that the R1 shadow hunter does have a long shot distance of 38 meters Which is kind of interesting. So with those distances in mind Let's talk about some tips how to best get your long shots done This is gonna be really really easy depending on how you do play here, but we can make this a lot easier for you all right, so a lot of you already might know this, but Hardcore Call of Duty is basically the camo hunter's dream. If you are looking for camos, man, you got to play in Hardcore. Basically, when you get those one to two shot kills, it makes it very, very easy for us to get long shots, but not just long shots. Lots of different camos and stuff like that as well also apply in Hardcore because it's just so easy to get kills, man. Like You basically just get one shot kills pretty much all the time, and that's sort of what we're all about here. That's basically what we're after. And you might notice that we are on the new map, which is Diesel, which is an absolutely fantastic place to get long shots, as this is one of the main tips that we want to come with season three. This just long line of sight down these corridors, man, is so super helpful for getting these long shots done. And a lot of the time, people will just try and snipe you in sort of sniper battles on that platform back there, as well as sort of, they only, they only spawn back there. So it's not too difficult usually to get long shots done on this map. And this is one of the major tips that we have here. Play on the Diesel 24-7 playlist and hardcore if possible. If you don't like hardcore, you don't think you can get it done in hardcore, I mean playing normal game modes is fine as well. You can play the little 24-7 playlist in the normal game mode and you'll still get this done. I'm even playing on this waiting for... I was waiting for a lobby for a little while, so I had to play on an Asian server, I think. So my ping is a little inconvenient, so it's a little, little hard, but I mean... You can still get plenty of long shots on Diesel. There is the big long lines of sight here, and it is really, really easy to rack up loads of long shots here. Of course, it doesn't just apply to that side of the map as well. You can sort of sit back far enough. We can see on the ping, ping system, that's 36 meters there. So if anybody does walk to that side of the bus and sits on that platform there, that's 38 meters. We can get away with that, but we'll try and get around to the other side and we'll show off what we can do around this half of the map because it's a little easier. It's a little easier on the other side of the map with that big wide open platform. Alrighty, so the spawns have flipped around and we can show off this platform, this side of the long shot spot on Diesel. Very, very easy again to just sort of sit up here and just wait for people to peek out into you. You have a little bit more cover. It can be a little bit more difficult for people to shoot you from this side. And for the most part, when you do start doing this, people will always engage you in sniper fights and cross map duels. So you can just sort of sit here and the more you do this, the more people will just come up to you and be like, yeah, I want to fight. Let's, let's, let's go, dude. It can be tough with an SMG from this distance. This is very far away. Like that's, how far away is that? 69 meters. <laughs> Yeah, so this is quite far, but it's really reliable, man. Oh, I got that guy in the head. So you can see, if you just sit in these spots here, you can just sort of wait for people to peek out into the open. Even the fire truck over there is 60 meters away. It's not a fire truck, but you know what I mean, 60 meters away. So this is a very, very reliable spot. I would consider this one of the better long shot spots in the game, as well as those maps, because it just happens on here. Like, it's really, really easy to just do it on this map. So keep that in mind. Alrighty, so the usual long shot rules will still apply on Nuketown in Season 3. Nothing changed with this. You can usually get away with lots of long shots on this map. There is a particular position that just sees people sit there 43 meters away. This will work with some of the weapons. Sometimes assault rifles, sometimes SMGs will work. Like, SMGs is probably the most reliable thing to do in this angle here. And when people just sort of sit here, 
it's really easy and they will continue to push you for the most part. And of course this works on the reverse angle. So you can sit on that like white picket fence there and shoot into this backyard when people spawn back here. It's also quite easy. So let's try and show this off from the reverse angle. If we go over to the white picket fence again, this should be a little easy to get shots, but sometimes you can just get picked off here. So this can be a fairly risky spot. You do have to also worry about, oh, oh boy. No, this is okay. We got him. <laughs> Blind fire is correct. So you can see people are running across here. They do spawn there kind of frequently. So if you just sit here, wait your turn, eventually you'll get enough long shots to get those gold medals done very, very easily. But long shots can sometimes be taken care of. Actually, the spawns flipped. So you got to pay attention to when the spawns flipped in hardcore because on Nuketown, it does it all the time. If this isn't like domination, it happens all the time. So you got to know what's behind you and you try and make the spawns flip back. So if we come into the backyard. Okay, they should be spawning on the other side now. So again, we can take up our regular position and hopefully not get bothered by anyone into this position here and just wait just wait for people to come here because they will do it and they will run out of that spawn there especially if you do get some frags here but for the most part see easy long shot there nice little shot on that guy there of course depending on the gun you have you can shoot across the top top little balconies here you can shoot between these two yards it's not super difficult a lot of the time to shoot between here but you do sort of have to sit a little bit further back depending on what gun you have because that's 40 meters away which will work with smgs but sometimes not with some of the other guns in the game and also you know this spot here as well that doorway is 66 meters away and you can usually pre-fire that and get some easy long shots and kills on that guy sitting at the door because people usually always go to that door man a sniper will always sit there so you can just sort of, oh that's unfortunate timing so yeah you can just sort of sit there and go sort of like this and people will eventually walk into you and you should be able to get some long shots. So to summarize here, basically what we want to combine here, we want to be able to use the ping fairly often to determine actually how far people are away. That is one of the most useful tools that they have added in this year's Call of Duty. Being able to ping and know how far distances are in multiplayer is super useful for getting those long shot kills. For the most part, you want to know where your spots are, particularly in the 24-7 playlist where it is very, very easy, especially in Diesel and especially in Nuketown because Nuketown is just such a classic map, man. Loads of people are going to be playing this all the time. Diesel is a little less common because it's not Nuketown basically, but Nuketown or Diesel rather is still a fantastic map for getting this done because of that big long road. So I would actually prefer to do this in Diesel if possible because it is a little easier with those longer lines of sight and you're sort of not getting flanked a lot of the time by people on Nuketown, but Nuketown is still a very viable option to get this done as there is just sort of the 24-7 playlist, loads of people in it, always easy to do. And then lastly, for the most part, you want to be playing on hardcore because it is just so easy to get those kills. Some of the weapons will kill in one shot. This weapon sometimes gets a one-shot kill, not all the time. That's unfortunate again. Sometimes you get a one-shot kill with this weapon, but other times you'll just get a flat-out one-shot kill. Two-shot kills can be a little bit more difficult because it's just sort of less consistent. When most people have one-shot kill weapons, you have a two-shot kill weapon, it can be a little bit more difficult. So play in hardcore, you will, for the most part, get those one-shot kills, and it'll be very, very easy here. Anyway, guys, hopefully you did learn something with the long shots here. They are quite easy this year. You do only have to get 50 per weapon for the most part from memory off the top of my head. 50 is not too difficult like it was in Modern Warfare, man, getting like... 100 long shots was just an absolute pain, but getting 50 is not too bad. So hopefully this guy did help you out in Season 3 getting those long shot kills. Very, very easy this year to get that done. So thank you very much for watching this one. I do massively appreciate it, of course. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on, and I will get back to you with the next video very, very soon. Bye!